I find that the most common problem when people are setting goals is this. One is they either set too big of a goal, so it feels really intimidating when you set a really big goal. Like you don't even know where to start. Conversely, people set too small goals and then they hit them and then they feel very complacent as to where they're at. Big goals seem insurmountable, seem very distant to us. So the key is you got to break a bigger goal into smaller pieces or steps and you keep breaking it down. So here's a big goal. Here's the monthly goal. Here's the weekly goal. Here's the daily goal. Here's the minute by minute goal. Now I have a question for you. What is your goal? We have to have very clear goals, clear goals, clear results, fuzzy goals, fuzzy results. It could be about your revenue, about your health, about your creativity, but whatever it is, what is your goal? And you need to write that sucker down. It needs to be quantifiable, objective, something that you can measure. You have to assign a deadline to it. There's lots of theories on this. It doesn't matter who you talk to from Tony Robbins, Jack Canfield. When you know your goal, goal setting, and you write it down using the neuromotor skills that you have, it's almost like magic that it will come true. I think one of the keys to helping you to achieve your goal is to see progress. So when you have a really big goal, you don't know if you're getting anywhere closer. For example, I want to look really good for summer and I need to get a six pack. Now there are a lot of steps that I have to take in order to be able to achieve that goal. But if I say every day I'm going to cut 200 calories, that makes it a lot easier and a lot more manageable for me to take on. One of the best tools that I've discovered is called scaffolding. An easier way of thinking about scaffolding is the magic stairway. In order for you to get from point A to point B, try breaking the goal down into smaller bite-sized pieces. Here's what I mean. Let's say one of your goals is I want to grow as an artist. Well, that sounds really lofty, amorphous, and it's hard to get your head wrapped around that. When you think about growth, let's break it down. Well, I want to get better with Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign, and Premiere. Let's say those are the four things that I need as an artist to become better. Now, each one of those things can be broken into smaller goals yet. How do you get better at Adobe Illustrator? Well, some of the things that you might think of are, I need to learn how to use the pen tool really well. I need to know how to build shapes quickly. I need to know how to draw precisely. Maybe I need to learn about gradients and just best practices in terms of navigation and keyboard shortcuts. Now you see the big goal of, I want to grow as an artist or a designer has been broken down into four pieces and those four pieces can then be broken down into even smaller pieces. Chunking is power. You don't want to overchunk where you're trying to bite the whole darn thing together. You also don't want to underchunk where you make a million pieces of something. If you make enough reasons to fall through and you know what you want, but you make the task overwhelming, you'll be overwhelmed. What is chunking? It's taking all that's coming at you and putting it into idealized size groups that your mind can handle. Okay, we cannot end this video by talking about goal setting and working towards achieving your goal if you just walk away and do nothing. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to pick out a goal that you've been setting aside, something that you really want to accomplish, and try to apply the principles in which you've learned today. Now you have a clear plan on how to move forward. Encara Messi, sigue Leo Narco, oh, goal!